God. Hello and welcome to the Q&A for the World Taekwondo International Championship. My name is Benjamin Güntner. English is not my language, but I hope you can understand what I talk to you. And I'm not alone here today. We have a special guest, the owner of Virtual Taekwondo, the man behind the idea, Daniel Manns. Welcome to the stream. Hello, Daniel. Hello, Benjamin. How are you? Oh, fine. Thank you. I hope you too. Okay. Yes, I'm fine. <laughs> Now, Virtual Taekwondo, the tournament we have on the 12th November, the big, big event with a big show behind and a lot of coaches asking a lot of questions at the moment. And today we are here to give the coaches the answers, what is the event, what we are planning and uh, what they have to do. Daniel, the idea behind Virtual Taekwondo, can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, so um, Benjamin, uh, virtual taekwondo. So for I will give a small, uh, a short review how everything exists um, started. So I started virtual training five years ago. Yeah, so I was doing it in the United States since five years, and it worked very well. Yeah, so the athletes were very happy, the coaches are happy, but it was only only one, two, three uh, athletes. But now during this hard COVID time, um, it starts a complete new era of technology. So I was um, planning to make the virtual Taekwondo as a like bigger. So we, um, we made a nice internet platform you can see it at www.virtual-taekwondo.com. You can see, you can make memberships, you can train with us in group sessions, you can book private sessions. We make video analysis of the highest level. Um, there is only, there's a button only for coaches available. So um, we also make um, camps for their clubs virtually. So, because during that time, and we don't need to fly to America, to China, or somewhere else, we will be doing it virtually. Because now every one of the clubs have like a big screen, because of the potato system um, on the wall. So, there's everything what we need to give the athletes and the coaches the best and on the edge advice right now. And that is amazing. So, um, so ben Benjamin, now now I think you you see how everything started, and now during that time, we created the first virtual Taekwondo uh, international championship. So I can tell you the the idea I saw the Pumse they already did some virtual tournaments. So I saw this and was thinking, oh, that's a great idea. I think. That's also possible in Kirugi, it's boring. I was talking to my wife and she said, now, how is this possible? Because they cannot fight. I say, wait a moment. So we, we take our time, drink coffee and spoke days over days to um, find the right way. But, and then we find, we find an awesome solution. So if you see, and if you ask all the pro athletes, what they doing closely before the real competition they do target sparring because in the target sparring there are so many many necessary components that are very important to be a great fighter so i will tell you you have timing you have distance you have covering you have speed you have power and also your coach or your, the athlete who's holding the target for you is moving forward and backwards and can hit you with the target. So you have to make distance all the time. So this is super realistic to a, to a fight. So Benny, now I think I can see your eyes going open. I'm You're smiling. Ooh. <laughs> so so that, that's totally great. So and in, in this videos, you can see a, a difference between the fighters. You can see who is good 
or who is better. And it's really, really close to a real fight. Of course, there are little things um, what um, is different to a real fight. That's no question. But this also is a really great thing. And we can't wait until 12 September when we're sitting and watching your live stream, Benjamin. Um, I I'm totally excited to see your animations and everything. So, yeah. So, so, so the idea starts. Yes, this is what you're telling. This is uh, I can remember me uh, two months ago. You called me. Hey, Benjamin, I have an idea. I want to make a virtual Taekwondo championship. Can you manage this? And I'm sitting there and say, oh, well, virtual Taekwondo championship. Tell me more about this. It's interest. And uh, I love the idea. Uh, the idea behind is amazing. And I think we can make a big, big show uh, with this event. Uh, one point. It was also a, uh, a point uh, for me at the beginning. Um, what is a little bit difficult? The pointing. How we give the people, the players, the points for uh, the matches. Yeah, good. Benjamin, good that you say that. So that, that was uh, the really tricky thing on... Um, to, ma to, to make this tournament happen. Because we doesn't have uh, real judges for pressing the points but we have real judges in our live stream right benjamin you make it possible that we have three referees and the three referees are live in our um, live stream and you and they will see it live they will score live and you will see the end of the points live in in a calculation so that's totally great so but now i will tell you how the referees will um count the points so every referee have the possibility to give two scores. So, for example, all three together have, we will have six scores, totally six. So, the first score includes, it's very important, the fourth score, you will have pre-motion, cover during the kicks, and drop off the technique. I will explain it a little bit. But then you will see how phenomenal and how you have to focus on the first score. Because you have to see that the pre-motion is you will do a fast kick. So you should do a fast kick without mo moving your leg before, okay? Right? That's called pre-motion. And the very good fighter attacking without the pre-motion because they will not show the uh, open and then you're gonna attack. The other point is how you put your leg down after the attacking because you need to be ready to kick uh, with every technique you want. And the last point is, because we are in the electronic time right now, it's covering during the kicks. So the referees will be specialized looking if you're covering during the kicks. If you don't cover enough, it will not give you that many points, okay? Because we are in an electronic taekwondo era, um, era right now. Okay, so that's the first score. Did you understand that, uh, yeah. Benjamin? Yes. Good. Perfect. So the second one, the second score includes the variety of the technique. So <coughs> not only roundhouses. We want to see a real realistic fight, like front leg, cut kick, snap to the head, covering, faking before. Then we will, the second point will be speed and power of the kicks. And the last one will be rotated techniques. So the, it's not, it doesn't make sense if you are only kicking back kicks, but we want to see that, we, that it includes some spinning kicks because spinning kicks are four or five points. So that's very important. So that's are the two, the two scores that uh, the referees will give in, all six together. And the, the versus two, the referees will delayed okay so it will be super fair for everyone okay so this is how it should be how it will be at the tournament now i will also going a little bit back to um telling you something about the, the score uh, the scoring system because in the video you can really see very well um if someone is fast or someone kicks hard if a coach or the athletes are smart 
and someone is faster or stronger so they can choose the instrument they want to use maybe the fastest kicker using a, a target the, the light target who, uh, uh, someone who's uh, kicking very hard should use a, a, a target shield because you can see that they're kicking very hard so the creativity is open for everyone you can do all allowed um, techniques in the um, world taekwondo federation so as in a tournament no different techniques and it should be realistic so i think benny that was the scoring point what you were asking for but i'm i'm in a good flow right now so uh, uh because i remember a coach asks me um let me think what was the question um oh yeah should i should i it called 30 seconds but should i kick now 30 seconds without a break coaches no no kicking with no break because we want really realistic sparring fight so please you go in you give your scream that will tell us that your round starts the 30 seconds starts now i want to see you prepare i know 30 seconds are not that long but you need to prepare the fight stepping faking so it should be very realistic and then you kick so creativity is open but don't kick only in a row you can do it maybe it will it's good so we will see but I, we because you have to see when you can visualize someone is fighting against you you're also training and helping you better to develop the mental training so you're going and growing and bring you to a different level when you have a next competition you are better in visualizing and having a new new aspect as training for mental training so that's also a great idea but i think it's very cool and new and help us all to grow in our in our uh, taekwondo uh correct <laughs> uh and i can say oh yeah yes it's wow uh and i and i have seen uh the first videos uh a few of the coaches and the players have sent us the first uh videos of uh the 30 seconds uh the first 30 seconds and it's very interesting uh, especially we see uh, a lot of different styles a lot of different ideas and i think this is the magic point uh on this event uh that's not only the same technique the same style no it's it's different uh we have uh videos uh, with partner, without partner, with bobs, uh, with the handbread uh, mates. Uh, very interest, and um, I'm happy to see more. Uh, it's very special. Uh, but we don't only have uh, the matches. We have also a show behind it. Uh, we will bring the complete days, special guests, uh, a show, some information, uh, talk to the players, um, what they can do better. And we have a lot of special guests. And Daniel, can you talk a little bit about the special guests? Of course, Benjamin. So um, we will have special guests. Um, I can tell you a few, but I don't want to um, give you too much information because, you know, surprise, surprise is always nice. Okay, so uh, we will have, I can tell you, we will have world medalists, Olympic medalists. We have, will have only athletes that are competing at their highest level in Taekwondo. So you can be sure this will not only be reviewing your videos, this will be an awesome show with top athletes who is looking your fight and giving commentate and it will commentate what you are doing. So wow. that's totally, totally great. Who had that opportunity? And we, we try to make everything happy, everyone happy. And that's amazing. I can't wait. And I'm totally, uh, how can I say that? I can't wait to see your animations, Benjamin. I'm mm -hmm. very, uh, I can't wait until the 12th of September. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there will come a lot of special things. Uh, now I think the peoples are hot, uh, but how can they uh, register uh, the athletes? Oh, yeah. Um, good that you say that. So you can go to our website, www.virtual-taekwondo.com. On the um, starting page, you see um, pay the entry fee. That's the first step. 
But after this, you can go directly to the, the registration page. It's a Marshall event. You only click there. It opens a window. You go to virtual tournament, and then you can sign up. And don't forget, I think something they need to do, but you're better in this than me, Benjamin. Uh, important points are for you, if you registrate your player at your Instagram account, add a picture from your player. These are the important points because we won't show your player. We won't show the Instagram account of your player or your club. We won't show uh, the picture of your player that the people can see who is behind this player or behind this video at the moment. Uh, and this is important. Don't forget uh, to uh, add uh, your account names and uh, your pictures. Perfect. Nice. So, uh, Daniel, I think uh, these are the important points. We will be going live on YouTube and Twitch on Taekwondo Replays and on the 12th. Uh, and from my side, we talked everything. Do you have more? I have one point. Yeah, I have one point. I, um, there comes a question. One coach asked me how to uh, place their camera. So um, it's totally easy. If you have a camera, iPhone, a new model of iPhone or the two years older iPhones, that should be no problem. You only need, need the camera. This way, not. You should put that way and you should fix it. Don't hold it in the hand. So fix it on a table or some, somewhere else. Important is that your camera view will be like this. So that you don't have to move your phone. Then record your video you can go to our um, Instagram account you can see it um, under my name on the screen um, and then you will see a video today I posted one video of a very nice club from USA um, Hans Taekwondo very nice um, you can see that's perfect that's a perfect uh, example how to record the video so I think with this you're totally good don't forget Wear a hogo and scream before you start because that's the sign of the start. Okay? So, Benjamin, I think that was every information from my side. If everyone else has, needs more information, you can send us messages, WhatsApp, whatever. We try to answer every question that we will have all a very nice and successful tournament. Mm, yes, and I'm happy to see you all on the 12th um, on September. And uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel. If you have questions, you can tell the questions also down below. And we will see us in a few weeks. Bye-bye. Bye, Benny.